Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. All right, welcome back. Welcome to Advanced Class 16. Yes, here we are, starting with a little review of what we saw in the last class. We talked about the verb, the phrasal verb, to sort out, arreglar, or solucionar. So I can ask you some questions with this, and make sure you answer out loud. To sort out, arreglar, solucionar. Did you sort out this situation? Yes, I sorted out the situation. I sorted out the situation. Did you sort everything out? Yes, I sorted everything out. Can we sort out this mess? This mess, este lío. Can we sort out this mess? Yes, we can sort it out. We can sort out this mess. We can sort it out. Ask me if I sorted out all the details. Did you sort out all the details? Did you sort out all the details? Very good. Yes, I did. Yes, I sorted out all the details. Did you sort out the problem? Yes, I sorted out the problem. Now, what do you want to know? Did you sort out the problem? What do you want to know? I want to know if you sorted out the problem. Will you sort out more problems tomorrow? Yes, I will sort out more problems tomorrow. Have you sorted out a lot of problems lately? Yes, I've sorted out a lot of problems lately. Ask me if I think they can sort it out before they arrive. Do you think... En voz alta, en casa. Do you think they can sort it out before they arrive? Do you think they can sort it out before they arrive? I don't know. I hope so. I hope they can sort it out before they arrive. Do you think you can sort it out? Do you think you can sort it out? Yes, I think I can sort it out. Do you think it will be sorted out on time? Yes, I think it will be sorted out on time. Did they sort out their misunderstanding? Yes, they sorted out their misunderstanding. Should they sort it out before they start the job? Yes, they should sort it out before they start the job. Okay, now I want to move on to take a look at quantifying time in ways that I discussed yesterday but didn't have time to finish. I started talking about um, for and since, well, in the last class, I should say, not necessarily yesterday, but in the last class, and um, we were talking about for and since, and then I ran out of time, so I promised that I would discuss it today on the program. So here we are, for and since. So remember, since is followed by a period of time. And with since, we use the present perfect. I have been here since five o'clock. I have been here since five o'clock. I have been wearing this watch since this morning, since seven o'clock this morning. Okay, I've been in Spain since 2003. I've lived in Spain since 2003. Now, for is followed by a period of time. We can use it in all tenses. It's followed by a period of time, and it tells us how long something lasts or something will last. I have been here since 2003. I have been in here for six years. Six years. Well, 2004, I guess. I've, I've been here for about six years. I've been here for six years. I lived, before coming here, I lived in Holland. I lived in Holland for six months. Okay? I've been sitting in this chair for 20 minutes. After this class, I'm going to go home on the metro. I will be on the metro for 25 minutes. I was on the metro for 25 minutes coming over here this morning. I've been on the metro, well, for, well, actually, I'm not, I'm not on the metro now, so I won't say four, but I've been on the metro about six times, six or seven times so far this week. Usually when I'm on the metro, usually I'm on the metro for 20 or 25 minutes. So four plus a period of time telling us how long something lasts, okay? During 
is followed by a noun and tells us when it happened. During. I went to, about four years ago, I went to Italy for the Winter Olympics. I was in Italy during the Olympics. I was in Italy for seven days. I think the Olympics last 14 days. The Winter Olympics. I think they they typically last 14 days. But uh, I was in Italy for the Olympics. I was in Italy for 14 days. I was there. Well, what did I what did I go there? I mean, the purpose was to go to the Olympics, but I I was there during that period. I was there during the Olympics. I was there during the month of February. But did I spend the whole month there? No. I was there during the month of February, but I was there for 7 days. I can say during the film my phone rang. My phone rang for 30 seconds. During dinner I spoke to my my friend. I spoke to him for 10 minutes. Okay? During dinner. Okay, we also have another word which is while. Mientras. And we'll talk about that another day. But for and since here. So here we can quantify time. And I'll give you some information. Layla went to California on the 17th. It's now the 20th and she's still there. So you can say, Layla has been there for four days. She has been there since, this day, since the 17th. So since, followed by a moment. She's been there since the 17th. She's been there for four days. David went to England on the 3rd. It's now the 10th and he's still there. So give me your two sentences. David has been there since the third, he has been there for seven days. He has been there for a week. Richard Vaughn went to Texas on the first. It's now the tenth, and he's still there. He has been there since the first, and he has been there. In both out uh, out loud at home, he has been there for ten days. Richard Brown went to London on the 1st. It's now the 5th. The 5th. Using the ordinal numbers there, the 5th. And he's still there. So he has been there for five days. And he has been there since the 1st. Now here I am. It's me. Look, Kyle. Kyle went to Canada on the 5th. It's now the 10th and he's still there. So you can say, Kyle has been in Canada for five days. He has been in Canada since the 5th. Very good. All right. Fitz. Fitz went to Ireland on the 4th. It's now the 6th, and he's still there. He has been in Ireland since the 4th. He has been in Ireland for four days. Very good. Expression of the day. Yes, that's right. It's time now for our expression of the day. The expression of the day today is between a rock and a hard place. Between a rock and a hard place, you can say, I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. So are rocks hard or soft? Well, they're hard. So a rock itself is hard. So imagine you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. Well, you're you're stuck between two diff, two hard things and in english hard also means difficult so it means you have a difficult situation or well the other alternative is another difficult situation so it means you have no choice you're stuck between a rock and a hard place maybe you have some choices but none of them are good they're not looking good you're stuck between a rock and a hard place And that's our expression of the day today, ladies and gentlemen. Do you feel stuck between a rock and a hard place when it comes to learning English? I hope not. I hope you find these courses refreshing and helpful. I I hope you don't feel stuck between a rock and a hard place, stuck in a position that you're uncomfortable with and feeling that there's no way out. Okay. So let's, anyhow, let's, let's move on. We'll move on. That, that was our expression of the day, to be stuck between a rock and a hard place. Now we have the verb 
Well, we have the structure there and to be. So the verb to be. So here, remember, the subject is there. There. So we, when you say I, we say there is or there are if it's plural. There is a problem. There are several problems. There is a meeting. There are several meetings. So notice in Spanish when you have the verb haber appearing here in this structure, hay un problema. There is. The subject is there. Okay? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you some questions. Oh, I'm, I'm going to give you some examples of translation focusing on there is, there are, there was, there were. There has been, there have been. So, in other words, the present simple, there is, there are, there was, there were, simple past, and the present perfect, there has been, there have been. So, notice how it changes according to singular or plural. There is a meeting, to mo well, there is a meeting in the office now. There are several meetings in the office now. There was a meeting in the office yesterday. There were, there were several meetings in the office yesterday. There has been a meeting in the office lately, ultimamente. Anytime we use lately, we're going to use present perfect. There have been several meetings in the office lately. Okay, now let's try a little translation. Are you ready for a little translation? Translation. Hay un problema con el sistema nuevo. There's a problem with the new system. Very good. Hay varios asuntos que atender. There are several matters to take care of. Very good. Había mucha gente aquí cuando llegué. There were a lot of people here when I arrived. Very good. Hubo una explosión en la fábrica anoche. There was an explosion in the factory last night. Very good. Va a haber muchos problemas con esto. There are going to be a lot of problems with this. There are going to be a lot of problems with this. Ha habido un malentendido. There's been a misunderstanding. There's been a misunderstanding. Very good. If you got that right, well done. Good job. Vocabulary of the day. All right. Yes, it's time for the vocabulary of the day. The vocabulary of the day today. Irse amontonando. To pile up. To pile up. The work is piling up. The papers are piling up. Yes, to pile up. Relación. Compenetración. Between people. We say rapport. Rapport. R-A-P-P-O-R-T. But we don't say report. We say rapport because we've borrowed this word from French. Rapport. It's nice to have a good rapport with your colleagues. Recoger, recoger, to pick up, to pick up, very good, la moral, morale, M-O-R-A-L-E, morale, morale, coordinar, to coordinate, to coordinate, to coordinate, conmigo, to coordinate. Very good. Coordinar. To coordinate. Very good. All right. All right. Now we're going to continue again with there to be. So here we are in 16.3 in your student guide. So make sure you're following along in the student guide and uh, listening to the classes, watching the classes on television, and following along and taking the tests on the website as well. Here we are in 16.3, so there to be. But now taking a look at there will be, there may be, there might be. So there will be. Habrá. Habrá una fiesta mañana. There will be a party tomorrow. Okay? There may be or there might be. Puede que haya. 
And then also, there must be. Debe haber. There must be. There must be a solution. There must be a solution. And there should be. Debería. Debería haber. And there could be. Podría haber. Okay. Let's try a little bit more translation again. Translation. Podría haber más de lo que piensas. There could be more than you think. There could be. There could be more than you think. Very good. Debería haber más sillas. There should be more chairs. There should be more chairs. Puede que haya más de uno. Puede que haya más de uno. There may be more than one. There may be more than one. Okay. Yes, there, there may be more than one. There may be more than one answer here. There may be more than one way to correctly answer the question. Hmm. Okay, here's a good one. For all you English superstars out there, habría menos casos... Casos, si hubiera una vacuna, there would be, there would be fewer cases if there were a vaccine. I suppose that's what they were saying about the H1N1 virus, but now there, there is a vaccine and they're, which they're starting to distribute. Hmm. I suppose someone said that, hey, there, there would be fewer cases if there were a vaccine. Why don't we try to make a vaccine? Okay, there would be, there would be more examples... In this radio show, if I had more time, there would be more. Uh, t- there would be more translation if I had more time. There would be more opportunities to practice the structure if I had more time. Unfortunately, there is no time left. I'm completely out of time. So thank you so much for listening. But remember, remember to log on to bauganingles.com send in your questions send in your comments participate we're here for you we're here to help you so keep listening keep watching the TV keep participating and study hard and if you have any questions ask us we're here to help you okay I'm going to finish but we'll be back tomorrow with more keep listening and all for now bye bye <laughs>